no matter how well you ride on the trail, what really matters is how good you look when you leave and when you arrive. One of my signature moves is what I call the cowboy start. It's where I start next to the motorcycle and then I step up onto the bike and then I straddle it once the motorcycle gets started. The other one that I really enjoy is the rolling dismount. As I roll up to a stop, I'm dismounted off the motorcycle, I step down next to it, and then I'm finished. And these are both very useful skill sets. Not only do they make you look amazing when you come in and out of camp, because let's face it, it doesn't matter how good you ride on the trail, nobody's gonna see you there. They're gonna see you when you arrive and when you leave. So that's when you have to look the best. The, the number one error that most riders make when they do the mount is they stand too far back from the motorcycle and they're in too big of a hurry. So as soon as they start rolling off, they start hopping along behind the motorcycle and then they try to throw their leg over as fast as possible. Anytime you're doing a, a higher end skill set, you wanna be slow and methodical. You wanna look like you're in control. You wanna be relaxed. To do that, just keep in mind, we just always have to be ahead of what's happening. If I'm gonna start and ride this motorcycle, I know it's going to move away from me. So I can preempt that by moving into position. When I stand on this motorcycle and I'm ready to go, what I'll do is I'll put the side stand up. I'll let the motorcycle lean into my hip so I'm not holding on to it. That allows it to lean towards me because as soon as I let the clutch out, the bike wants to ride itself. If it's straight up and down, it tries to pull away from you. So let it lean into you just a little bit. When you put the left leg up, you'll set it onto the peg and you'll set forward on the motorcycle. This puts me over, basically over the gas cap. And as the motorcycle moves away from me, I get moved back into the, the proper standing position. The clutch and throttle, I actually use at the same time. When I start, I'll start the motorcycle, I'll give it some throttle and I'll leave one finger on the front brake. That allows me to apply some throttle and ease the clutch into the power. Not where it's pulling the motorcycle yet, but where I can feel it just start to pull against the brake. What that does is buffer any errors or mistakes. As long as I have one finger on the brake, if I'm a little bit shoddy on the clutch, that front brake's gonna help buffer that. The bike doesn't get away from me. One finger on the brake, a little bit of throttle, ease that clutch into the power, the friction zone, the gray zone, slip the clutch, whatever you want to call it. But once it starts to move, then you just step up onto the motorcycle. And what you, I'm doing is I'm not going straight up. I'm actually leaning kind of across it. That's why I'm already leaning into the motorcycle with both my hip and the knee. This allows me to lean up and forward. That puts me into a uh, relaxed position above the motorcycle in balance. And then whenever I'm ready, then I can swing my leg over the motorcycle. It's not something you want to do in a big hurry. So let me walk you through it just one more time. When you get ready to go, it's side stand up, hip into the bike, foot to the peg, over the tank, start the motorcycle, one finger on the front brake, a little bit of throttle so it doesn't stall, ease out the clutch into the power. As the motorcycle starts to pull forward, Gradually release that front, that front brake, that one finger, and then gradually stand up and onto the motorcycle and then swing your leg over. That's it. Now the other part of this is just the rolling dismount and the stop. And it's just a, an exact reversal. When I'm arriving, the first thing I wanna do is make sure that I'm gonna be safe. So I shut the power off on the motorcycle and I coast in. I, I don't wanna be coming in really slow and underpowered where I'm out of balance. And if you've never done this before and you're a little bit rough, 
when it's in gear and you have power, there's a lot more room to make errors. So just pull the clutch in, hold the clutch in, shut the power off and start coasting in. Swing the right leg up and over, let it rest back and behind. And I'm leaning up against the tank to give myself some balance. When I stop, I prefer two fingers on the front brake to come to a nice easy stop. And then I drop my left leg down to the ground. I take control of the bike, put the side stand down and I walk away. If you're feeling more advanced, then you can throw the side stand down before you arrive. These two skill sets are signature moves of mine. And it's not because, well, of course, I want to look good when I arrive and when I don't, but it, that wasn't the original intent. The intent was to become more confident in balance. I wanted to become more pro, uh, proficient with the combination of the brake, the throttle, and all these things overlapping. And I'd been in multiple situations where both of these skill sets would have been of a huge advantage to me. The rolling dismount is uh, very useful if you're coming into a situation where the ground is very low, so you can step off the motorcycle and, and then you're not looking for ground because the motorcycle is up above you. It's a really good one if you're a short rider. It's also a very good mount if you're going to step off on either side and you need to set the motorcycle up against an embankment or something else. The start not only looks good, but it has similar benefits. There are definitely situations where you're below the motorcycle, you're not able to get your leg over it, you're not able to reach the other side, and this allows you to start the motorcycle and ride off and then mount up. If you have any questions about this that I didn't explain, go ahead and leave some comments uh, down below. I'll get to those. I try to read all of them, certainly when this video is still new. I try to get to all the comments. And if you're in support of the channel and you want to keep it going, please, always worth considering joining me on Patreon. Throw a few dollars towards me just so I can keep doing this and afford the time and the equipment because I love doing these tips and tricks and helping riders just like you and I want to be able to keep doing that. Thanks again, I appreciate it. Now, with that said, I think I'm going to go enjoy this nice rainy day here in Washington State. And maybe what I should be doing is a lot more lessons on mud and riding in the rain. Because that's not something that, uh, that I'm very short of here. All right guys, remember, Smile while you ride, attitude matters.